The Seville's garden at the 2023 Chelsea Flower Show is the show's first ever working outdoor kitchen. Designed by Mark Gregory of Landform Consultants, otherwise known as the King of Chelsea, the garden was awarded a silver gilt medal by the RHS judges at the world-famous flower show. Set within the grounds of an imagined country hotel, this charming, romantic, plot-to-plate garden reveals an intimate walled seasonal potager with an edimental planting theme combining ornamental and edible plants. These bright edimentals fill the borders alongside foxgloves and peonies, making it a true feast for the eyes. As RHS landscape ambassador, Mark has placed environmental considerations at the heart of his design. Highlights of this sustainable garden include the use of reclaimed brick, pantiles, Yorkshire flagstone and cement-free concrete. And in what is another first for Chelsea, Green Michelin-starred chef, Sam Buckley, has adopted a chef-in-residence role, foraging daily for ingredients from the garden and preparing three-course lunches for eight Chelsea penisoners to enjoy in the adjoining sunken dining area. Who said an old dog can't learn new tricks? I've spent almost three and a half years of my life at this showground, but the learning curve for this garden has been off the charts, said garden landscaper and designer Mark. From the very beginning, we made a commitment to do things differently, to push boundaries, to innovate, to strive to create a beautiful, elegant garden, as sustainably as possible. We imposed certain restrictions upon ourselves, no plastic, no cement or concrete, zero waste to landfill, salvage or recycle materials, source locally, reduce haulage, and it is this pledge that led us to work with so many pioneering, passionate people. Together we've all had one goal, to make magic happen, and I think we did it. The Seville's garden has been heaving with visitors since launching on press day, with celebrities including former Strictly Come Dancing judge Bruno Tonioli, the Crown star Imelda Staunton and her actor husband Jim Carter, Succession star Tom McFadden and his actress wife Keely Haas, plus Kate Middleton, the Princess of Wales, all stepping onto the garden to be fully immersed in the outdoor experience. Gregory responds to Monty Don critique. On BBC Two's coverage of the RHS Chelsea Flower Show, the 23rd of May, presenters Joe Swift and Monty Don visited Mark's garden to give their take on the design. Joe began by saying the garden had become a talking point and quite controversial, while Monty said he was not surprised that the garden didn't quite get a gold medal. When I saw this garden I saw flaws that I thought the judges probably would punish, said Monty, before focusing his attention on the Gladizia, ruby lace, tree. It's, the absolute first thing you see, it looks rather sparse, it doesn't look very healthy. The second thing is, you come from Main Avenue and you see this fantastic build at the back, it's really brilliantly done and Mark Gregory is one of the Chelsea greats, but I think the vegetables look like an afterthought, they look plonked in. The other thing is, you don't really know that is a kitchen at the back. You're not reading it, where of course to the designers it's glaringly obvious, but actually it isn't. The second thing is, you come from Main Avenue and you see this fantastic build at the back, it's really brilliantly done and Mark Gregory is one of the Chelsea greats, but I think the vegetables look like an afterthought, they look plonked in. The other thing is, you don't really know that is a kitchen at the back. You're not reading it. Where of course to the designers it's glaringly obvious, but actually it isn't. I seem to have caused a controversy with Monty Don and my dead tree. Please believe me, I would not plant a dead tree, and the tree is far from dead, said Mark, who added that it's a rare tree for its size. I've designed it to be looking good in June, July, August, September, continued Mark. Anybody who is a gardener knows that Gladizia is a very late tree to break, it breaks in May, June but my goodness me, the colors are amazing. It's beautiful, it's not dead, it's doing what a gladizia does. And actually, this is what Chelsea is about, it's about bringing things that are really difficult to grow and difficult to explain at the Chelsea Flower Show and I'm really delighted, and I'm really upset that you thought I'd put a dead tree in, but it's not dead, it's perfectly doing what a gladizia, ruby lace, does.